Hello everybody, uh, this is Pulkit Chhabra and in this video we will be discussing the problem C of uh, code forces round 630 and the name of the problem is K complete word. So without further ado, let's get to the problem and uh, see what the problem statement says. A word S of length n is called K complete if S is a palindrome and uh, S is a period of K. So basically uh, it should be, you know, uh, you can read it. Uh, it's uh, for example if a b a is a three complete because uh, it is a palindrome at it is a period of three because a b a is equals to a b a it, it is uh, you know made by repeating a b a several number of times okay so bob is given a word s of length n which contains of only lowest case letters and an integer k such that n is divisible by k he wants to cons convert this string to any k complete word all right to do, to do this, he can choose uh, any i a and replace the letter at the position i with some other lower, lowercase uh, Latin letter. So now Bob wants to know the minimum number of letters he has to replace to convert s to any complete word. Okay, so uh, we are given the number of test cases, test cases, and then n and k, uh, and n is divisible by k, and n and k go up to two into ten raised to power five and then the second line consists of the string n of length n right and it says that it is guaranteed guaranteed that the sum of n over all test cases will not exceed 2 into 10 raised to power 5 <clears throat> so let's copy the test case and in this uh, this point onwards i'll be discussing the uh, solution and you can pause the video and think around if you want to so uh, basically what i claim here is that if we you know if we have a string of uh, let's say size uh, something x something lambda k because it says that n is a multiple of k let's say it's lambda k so we'll basically have uh, lambda number of uh, strings repeated right and uh, this string will be equal to this string and obviously this will be equal to this and all of them are going to be equal to so so for this to be palindrome this should be equals to reverse of this right this should be equal to reverse of this right and parallelly this these two should also be reverse of each other right and uh, for this to be reverse of this and this to be reverse of this and all of these being equal also the only thing uh, you know that can make that happen is if the string of length k the the string that is to be you know repeated should be a palindrome itself if that particular string is a palindrome itself then uh, you know it will be equal to its reverse and this is the only case when uh, you know the uh, overall string is also going to be a palindrome because if it's say if it's not abc and abc was given as an example it then simply this will not be equal to its reverse but we want that to happen right uh, even also if you know uh, lambda was odd then we'll have a string in the center also in the case when lambda equals to 5 I am drawing uh, this is also going to be palindrome and this is going to be equals to reverse of this and this is going to be equals to reverse of this so the whole string is also going to be palindrome so now we basically you know find that uh, palindromic, pal palindromic string of length k such that you know converting all of the string into a multiple of you know into concatenation of that particular string lambda number of times we get the minimum uh, minimum you know cost so the task is reduced to now finding the string or just finding the minimum cost now if we see you know uh, we have a string of length k uh, let's say then say indices of 0 to k minus 1 so let's divide it into the first half and the second half and uh, uh, we'll see for you know when the k when the value of k is odd in that case we'll also have a center you know uh, letter let's see for the case when k is even for now now the zero should be equal to k minus one and the first should be equal to k minus two and so on so basically the first k by two should be uh, the reverse of the last k by two so basically what i'm trying to say is the zeroth should be equals to k minus one th and in general ith in general the ith uh, should be equal to uh, k minus one minus ith right for a particular for this particular string but now as uh, you know we'll be concatenating this uh, string 
for uh, you know the whole uh, s for, for to make to make it equal to s so we need the zeroth the zeroth equals to k minus 1th and uh, the kth also equals to you know uh, so basically for every what i'm trying to say is for every string of length k the first string for the first string zero should be equal to k minus one and so on but for the second string also this zeroth and this k minus one should be equals to it should be equal to the zeroth and the k minus one of the first string and uh, similarly for all the other strings also the all of the element all of the character should be equals to that uh, to, to those which were selected for the first string so we basically need to select the characters that we should put on each index from uh, 0 to uh, k by 2 minus 1 so that uh, the cost that cost that we incur for that particular index should be minimum and then we'll also basically check for the middle index and uh, see what uh, selecting which character gets us the minimum cost right so so i'll i'll uh, you know explain it in a better way while coding it i'll get to the coding part for now and i'll uh, explain while implementing so first i'll simply take the number of test cases and then n and k and uh, then the string s itself and then now let's say our answer is zero for now and uh, now i'll iterate for from uh, for the first half right now i'll basically try and uh, count the number of occurrences of each you know uh, letter in the required indices and what will be those required indices those will be uh, for for a particular i uh, zero sorry uh, for a particular i i was saying those will be i k minus 1 minus i and then uh, these two adding you know k to these two that will be k plus i and k plus k minus 1 minus i and so on right for every particular in, uh, you know uh, string these uh, particular indices values i want to be same i want them to be same right so let's say we iterate for the starting index the starting index can be 0 or it, sh it can be such that s plus k minus 1 is less than n and we'll simply add k to s now s denotes the starting index of my current k length lengthed string now in this case i know that i1 is going to be equal to i itself uh, not exactly i i1 is equal to, is going to be equal to s plus i right because the starting index is s and i am uh, going to check the ith index of that particular string if i consider that to be zero based and uh, i2 is going to be s plus k minus 1 minus i right and uh, i'll simply say count of s of i1 minus a plus plus and count of s of i2 minus a plus plus right now uh, you know in this case i'll get the count of all those uh, you know uh, count of you know all the alphabets over all those indices whose values i want to be same right for each i uh, okay there was a mistake i should not should be less than k by 2 because we are seeing for the first you know k by 2 elements of that particular string in this case i am assuming that this uh, k value is even and if it's k if it's odd i'll handle the case of the middle element separately right now uh, after having done it what i'll do is i'll see uh, you know which is the letter that comes the most number of times right because i want them all to be equal i'll you know uh, change the rest of the characters to the one that occurs the most number of times right uh, only uh, this is the way that uh, that will result in the minimum number of you know changes so the total number of uh, you know indices that i am iterating over will be 2 into n by k n by k is the number of strings and uh, number of different strings of length k and 2 is because uh, for 
i and uh, you know k minus 1 minus i so two indices for each string so 2 into n minus k and i'll get the maximum uh, you know frequency let's say mx that i can simply get by star of max element count to count plus 26 right now my answer now uh, rec minus mx will be added to my answer because i will need to you know update uh, i need to change these many number of indices to the uh, you know maximum valued character right so after having done this i'll simply see if the k value was odd if the k value was odd now i'll see to what particular uh, you know alphabet should i set the uh, middle you know middle indices for this i'll simply iterate from you know i equals to k by 2 i is less than n and i plus equals to k now this will you know visit all the uh, all those indices that are going to be the middle element of my uh, middle index of my you know resultant string let's again make a count of count array of size 26 and then similarly then uh, you know same as i did here i'll simply uh, increment the count of s of i minus a by one and in this case the value of rec is going to be n by k because the middle index index is going to be present only once in the uh, in one array in in one uh, you know string and uh, the mx value will be star of max element count comma count plus 26 and i'll add to my answer rec minus mx right so now i'll simply print the value of answer let's see for the sample test case okay what does it say i don't understand invalid types long long end long long end what is a fruit s1 of i okay 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 the index uh, i should name it to be st it's taking that to it's it's confusing this s with uh, this s because it's a local variable it it'll you know consider the value of s to be the value of this s so that's why it just it was giving problem 2023.16 2023.16 yeah so let's try and submit it in the meanwhile i'll walk you through the code once again not once again once yeah so first i took the input and then initialize the answer by zero now basically i am trying to iterate towards the you know i'm trying to get the answer get the minimum count uh for the first you know k by two uh indices and each in index can be treated you know uh, independently right because uh, the the there will the different indices will be uh, you know uh, equal and uh, they they don't have basically to uh, they, they basically don't have anything to do with each other right so i'll i trade i'll i just made a count array of 26 and then i traded over all those indices that are going to be equal to the you know the ith indexed letter right so for that i basically started you know fix the start index of the particular string it can be 0 k 2 k so basically from 0 to the point till s plus k minus 1 sorry st plus k minus 1 is less than n and i will simply keep on adding k to the you know st now the index i1 is going to be st plus i because uh, uh in that case that that will be you know uh, equal to the ith indexed uh, letter and the other letter from the right part from the second half is going to be st plus k minus 1 minus i and uh, then i'll simply you know add one to the frequencies of the corresponding letters and then I'll, i'm getting the maximum uh frequency letter and i'll just subtract subtract it from the uh, you know the required that is 2 into n by k and similar process is being done for for the for selecting the middle element in case the value of k is uh, you know 
<coughs> odd so after having completed the answer i'll just simply print it let's see yeah it has been accepted i hope the solution is clear to you guys uh, if there is some doubt you can leave a comment i'll try to clear it out the submission will also be available uh, the submission link will also be available in the video description you can have a look if you want to see you guys in the next video thank you thank you very much